Yo, what's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another FIFA 19 video on this channel. Welcome back. I have been out of not recording. Well, yeah, I guess just recording videos. I've been streaming on Twitch. I've been streaming on YouTube here and there. I don't know if you guys have caught up with any of that, but I have been active. I just haven't been recording videos for YouTube and partially because YouTube has lately been not friendly lately they I haven't been able to upload certain videos and just whenever I have the chance to actually upload it or whenever I can upload it there's no point in making it so I'm making this video hopefully everything is sorted out and fixed and I also had other stuff to do to I didn't qualify for the for the weekend league I didn't submit my qualification so I'm gonna wait for that for next week I ran a poll on Twitter where I asked if I should try both accounts again or just one and the majority said to try just one so I'm gonna try and do just the RTD I might qualify the other account and not focus on it unless I finish the RTG like if I finish the RTG, I'll go into the other one and, and whatever I play, whether it's 5, 10, 15 games, then so be it. But I'm going to try and get this account as far as possible on the foot champions. And for that, I need a better goalkeeper. Now, a better goalkeeper has come out as an SBC. It's the Danish player of the year. And it's uh, Kasper Schmeichel. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do it. But looking at this card is really not a bad card at all. It's 86 diving, 82 handling, 85 kicking, 92 reflexes, which is really nice, and 82 positioning. And I think even on 4 cam, he will go up to a decent goalkeeper. If I can get him up to a 7 with my defense, it'll be good. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one it's already complete I just have to submit it I the price got reduced massively because because of this this inform that I already had I already had an, uh, I have three informs as you can see they're all untradeable and well right here I have Thomas Mueller who I packed the other day on stream and well I don't need him I don't need him at all because I have his 87 rated with a Champions League version so what I did is I just threw in a bunch of players that I'd never use a bunch of players that I know I'm not gonna use and I purchased about I want to say six thousand seven hundred eight thousand no eight thousand something like that like 8,000 worth of players so like this cost me like 8,500 as you can see right here Marcos Alonso I did purchase which is 2,800 I purchased all the, the English league players that I needed because the the ones that I had just didn't give me the chemistry so I bought three Chelsea players to give me hard links so it's 2,800 for that one it's gonna be thirteen hundred or well, thirteen hundred and seventeen hundred. That's three thousand right there. That's five fifty-eight hundred fifty-eight seventy-eight and that's eight thousand seven hundred right there. That I believe that's all I purchased. I believe that's it yeah everyone else is first owner so 8700 for an 87 rated player I don't think it's that bad honestly especially considering that I already had the inform and I had a high rated card to lower to allow me to throw in as many 82s as I can now I could have thrown an 82 right here I think I could have even thrown an 81 no not an 81 but I could have thrown an 82 right there and it'll make it 
actually I'm gonna do that I wasn't going to because I wasn't going to because of because I have another Danilo Pereira that I could have used but I could I could go with an 83 I I could just save them I'll save them for a different SBC so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna throw in five Premier League players which is no big deal and now that I think about it I didn't need the position modifier that I used so this is the team that I'm gonna submit for the player of the year I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna how I'm gonna use it how I'm gonna put them in the team but it is complete it is ready to go in whenever I need them and if I do pack a Christensen from Chelsea I think that one that that'll help a lot because it'll give me a hyperlink to Schmeichel it'll be 10 chemistry so I wouldn't have to play with two uh, Premier League defenders and I think oh, how do I I think yeah I think if I if I have Christensen it'll help out a lot if I do this on the main account which I am gonna look into doing it on the main account I will uh, I will go buy Christensen just to be able to get that 10 chemistry and not mess up my whole defense and then I'll probably bring in someone else as, as a substitute if Christensen just doesn't do the job but this is what I'm looking at right now if I were to pack Christensen I would swap him out here and put him there uh, obviously I'm not going to take out Varan. I'll put Christensen here let's see let's look for him I will put him there and as you can see Schmeichel's at 10 Christensen is at 7 now it does drop down uh, Alexandro to 8 and Casemiro because like Casemiro I believe was already at 10 like that and then I have to go get I have to go get the Goretzka that I did my first owner Goretzka because I the one that I used for the uh, SPC was not that same Goreska, I forgot to mention that I didn't I didn't want you guys to panic. But <clears throat> this is the Goretzka that I that I've been using, my first owner Goretzka. I'll show you guys the stats right now so you guys can actually see it. And this Goretzka shouldn't be in the club for too long if I get the other Goretzka that's in the foot swaps. And as you can see, everything's on 10 right now. If I get Christiansen, drops him down to, drops Casemiro down to 8, and drops Alexandro to 8. But it gives me 99 chemistry, which is really not all that bad. And it gets me Schmeichel on 10 where if we look at his stats he'll go up to a 96 diving 82 handling 95 kicking 99 reflexes he goes his speed doesn't go up too much which is really I guess not all that bad because I've noticed I'm not sure if this is exactly how it works but I've noticed that if a goalkeeper's too fast sometimes it's a bad thing for you like when he comes out he needs a certain speed to get to the ball like if he comes out way too fast sometimes the players are just gonna move like they're just gonna do one little move and your goalkeeper's gonna keep going past them and not be able to react on time or something like that positioning he goes up to a 94 so it should be a really good goalkeeper, especially for the price that I got him. 
this looks like a really good upgrade. I've been looking into upgrading from Neto, and Neto's good. He's He's been amazing. He's helped me out a lot. I've had him, as you can see, for 110 games, and that's mainly almost every game, if not every game that I've had. But it's just time for him to to rest. Time for another goalkeeper. If for some reason I just don't like this Michael, I have an 87 rated player that I got for under 10 under 10,000. So this is the team that I'm gonna that I'm gonna be playing with so far. As you can see, I have the Champions League Mueller. If you guys hadn't noticed, then there's a Champions League Mueller. That's why I used this 86 that I also got untradeable from a two-player pack. But yeah, this is gonna be the team. This looks like it's gonna be the team. And I still use these top two, and then I sub him out. I sub him out whenever he doesn't score. Look at his stats. He this is a player that comes out almost every game right away. And sometimes I just forget and I end up scoring with him and I'm like, you know what, I'm already winning. Let's keep him in. And he ends up scoring goals. He also has assists, which is not bad. But whenever I don't need him, I'll just swap him out with joining don't like that. And promise we'll go in. Or depending on the game, I'll just keep Joe Linton down there and I'll bring in Falcao. And I'll even, I'll, I like to experiment. I like to experiment a lot and just figure out what, what goes best where. Sometimes I throw in Falcao, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'll throw in Piatek. As you can see right here, he has eight games, two assists, three goals. I have... 41 games with Palcao, 25 goals, 6 assists. But this is all coming from the bench. So sometimes he's not going to score. Sometimes I just bring him in and some you know, my opponent will end up quitting. Quincy Promise. Quincy Promise hasn't really been all that great for me. He started off strong, but I put him in as a left mid. I started off putting him in as a, as a striker. So maybe that's the reason why the stats have changed. I have this Chucky Lozano, which is funny because every time I bring him in, they think I, they immediately think of headliner or inform or something. And I've had a couple rage quits just because I brought in a, a Chucky Lozano and they don't know exactly which one it is. Because once you're in the game and you see a sub come in, it doesn't tell you which one it is. It just tells you the name of the player. But... Yeah, that's going to be how I'm going to use it. Let's see if... I don't know why he's not showing up. I know Schmeichel didn't give us any packs. So... There we have it. He's in the club. He's ready to go. And... Basically, I'm going to try and get this Christensen. If not, then I'm going to have to play with him on 4 cam for now and hopefully everything goes well but that's gonna be it for this video if you like to hit that thumbs up subscribe if you haven't hit that notification button so you know when the videos go live and i'll see you guys later